Now, Health Matters, brought to you by St. Michael's Emergency Rooms. Take a deep breath in and go, and out, good. The most common cause of bronchiolitis is the respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV as it's commonly referred to. Bronchiolitis usually occurs in children who have a direct contact with family members who have an upper respiratory infection. A child with RSV typically shows signs of an upper respiratory infection, such as a runny nose, cough, and sneezing, and sometimes may have a low-grade fever from 100 to 102 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put this mask on. I want you to take some good deep breaths in, okay? A breathing treatment is also used to help with the breathing problem, either by a nebulizer or with a meter dose inhaler, usually with the medication albuterol. You're doing good, Lexi. You're awesome. Sounds like she's improving. Her lungs, she's moving more oxygen, but we're gonna continue doing on some treatments and then we're gonna give her a steroid shot. If your child or infant has difficulty breathing, wheezing, or appears ill or tired in any way, go see your doctor to the nearest emergency room. Because your health matters, from St. Michael's Emergency Rooms, I'm Dr. Shannon Orsack.